<laughs> okay, it should, how's it going? It should be Monday today. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't help with those few, uh, you know, I, 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 people just cut me wound up there. Um, I have a whole bunch of those more Max videos, but I think I'll let them go for a while because <laughs> that doesn't seem to be a point. I want to raise them. I'll throw them up sometime down the road. They'll be always good for laughs. Um, I'm not going to stop on it. It's just, you know, I just, just got to let it go for a while. People don't like it. <laughs> so uh, I was watching, uh, watching or something or reading it somewhere. Um, how China has lent $2.5 billion U.S. U.S. dollars to Pakistan. <laughs> so much for, uh, Islamic solidarity, right? I guess uh, Pakis don't care for shit about uh, their uh, Uyghur Muslim brothers that are that are in those camps getting rich while they're getting cured of their sickness, right? Because Islam is a disease. So, you know, when uh, what happens when Pakistan defaults? The same thing as when Sri Lanka defaulted and China got a 99-year lease on their harbor and their port and... Just saying, I mean, Pakistan will become a whole big country. Belly up to the bar, boys. Have a shot of whiskey and wash wash those pork rinds and bacon sandwiches down and wear normal clothes and take them fucking pajamas and bags off because their new Pakistan is here. <laughs> if they default on their money. And meanwhile, inshallah, the Pakis are going... Oh, yeah, we're going to stiff those slanty-eyed fucks. We're not going to pay China that money back. And China's going, oh, oh, yeah, you will. They're laughing all the way to owning that country. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's going to make the president, President Trump, man, I, I, what's going on there, man? China's just spreading apes. Let them have it. Let them have it, America. Let, let, them, let China deal with those guys. I'd say uh, for Western countries, shoo. Fuck it. Pull out all that shit. Let them have it. Fuck off. Let them take that opium there and start selling it to the Chinese population. You think that'll be allowed to prosper once they take over? That's what I say. Let them go. So people are just dumb, eh? So we've seen examples of what happened. Um, I talked about that, that, uh, that, that one belt, one road. It seemed like it was a big thing, but... Uh, well, a lot of countries have opted out because it's a debt trap, right? China's offered to finance it, and I guess uh, they'll just dump American money, right? They're going to dump all their American debt and give people loans they can't afford, and China will uh, come and collect, right? They'll take collateral, kind of like here in Canada. They don't, don't they own a couple of buildings on Bay Street? A lot of healthcare things in Vancouver. I've talked about that before. They own lots and lots in Canada. Lots! I'm always waiting to hear from uh, the Infrastructure Bank in Canada. Remember how there used to be a lot of finger wagging? I've talked about it enough times. I guess we're waiting for the day when uh, we're really bust. And it's going to be time for them to fuck off with our $39 billion. $39 billion! Aren't uh, big... Big sections of the 401 or the 400 or or which one's the toll 407 aren't big section of those owned by uh, Saudi Arabia just saying it could be wrong you don't want to fact check me on that but eh, I don't think I am Shh, old white guy don't say those things <laughs> is there a is there a, an Islamic PPC member if there isn't why not are they not allowed? Are there PPC party? Are there PPC? I guess you can't say that. Can, are there PPC members of color? If not, why not? Because uh, what's his name? Basim Bashra? Montreal Gazette editors calls the PPC the white supremacist party. So tell me again how he's going to be prime minister. Well, this is what the mainstream media and once you have meetings about how to divvy up the $600 million that the government is taking, Justin Trudeau is taking from taxpayers to pay them to convince us 
to vote for Justin Trudeau and liberals and all these policies and whatever, not vote for them other guys. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Man, I... <sighs> well, I don't think I'll be wrong about the Jordan Peterson thing. I think uh, next we'll see... Um, well, he's going to do all the gatekeepers. So we'll see Maxime Bernie probably making an appearance on uh, Ben Shapiro. And then the Canadian King. And he'll be telling uh, him and Maxine will be together talking about Jordanetics and how Maxine always stood up straight and how Maxime always kept his room clean. And <laughs> <laughs> Jude and Peterstein. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just couldn't help it. But that's what's going to happen because he has to look legitimate to uh, online, online, the online uh, right wing, if you want to call us that. So he has to look legitimate to that. And to many of these people, um, that will that will make him look legit. He's got to go to all the all the right wing gatekeepers, right? So just saying, because we've never seen that ever happen, ever, ever. Ever. And we're only seeing it really here in Canada, man. It's so unbecoming of an unelected official. I, I, uh, <laughs> I guess it's the sign of the times, right? That's funny, Cringy, that you left that comment about that dude. Uh, in one of those other videos, I, I, uh, well, I'm not going to show those because I guess I took a cheap shot at it. I'm not going to. But what, what did you say that? He, see, um, he seems like a smart guy. And that was my comment about him. He, he, the guy with the, he always has the red, the red eye like he's a demon. And he has, his run times are always 33 and a third or 13, 13 and stuff like that. Eh? Uh, what's his name? And anyways, uh, he always says that, and he always talks in um, with big words and strings together in a sentence that sometimes doesn't make sense, and his syntax doesn't always correct. But people think he's educated and smart. He he tries to come across as an uh, uh, as an intellectual, and in that he's that he's formally trained ac academically, right? He's just but he's not, man. I like I'm not, <laughs> but it's kind of funny, right? Read the news. That's all good, man. Um, so if that's what you meant, cringy. Yeah. Uh, I, that's kind of funny. <laughs> See, so it's a little small pack we travel in, right? Um, but don't doubt for a second that I don't love, I don't love Canada. Um, I said what I had to say about the Conservative Party and all politics here, but in the end, I thought the main goal was was for you guys that thought it was like a real thing. I thought the main goal was to get rid of Justin Trudeau and that was gonna change everything somehow. Which which is wasn't no matter what. You know, and there's a few there's a few YouTubers out here that are still being consistent and called Andrew Shear out as all the things I said about sperm cheeks, everything, and then but they they say, but you still gotta vote for him because the idea is to get Justin Trudeau out that will try to change the party once the conservatives get in. You can always vote out Andrew Scheer as leader and stuff later. And whatever, right? I don't, I don't like. I don't all agree with all that stuff, but uh, at least I admire them for sticking to their guns about it, man. And that guy I mentioned, he used to say that once too, but now he's changed to this PPC dream. Again, we come back to my stories about the GTA, how I look at it. First they're this, then they're that, then they're this, now they're that, and oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 there's something over there. Now we're this! That's all, it must seem strange to uh, people in other parts of the world when they look at Cuff Canada, because that's what we are, that's what Americans do look at us like and um the freeloaders just look at us look at us as prey uh, gravy train <laughs> that's a big difference though that's not the, and i said this enough times and i'm going to say it again that's not the part of canada i live in it's not like that here and, and probably uh these areas i mock it's not like that in all their province. Rural areas are not like that. We are not like that. These urban centers in Canada, they don't speak for the rest of us, man. 
they get to they get to but they don't they're not echoing uh our thoughts and feelings whatsoever that's the way it is um when was my last one or the second last one of those shorties? Uh, thanks, AJ. That was a pretty good comment, man. You're such a fucking centrist, middle-of-the-road libertarian guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty good comment. You're, you're, you, you take a lot of things I say and uh, make them sound a lot more rational. And I appreciate it. <laughs> ah, maybe I'm biased. I like to watch you because you know you're in my province too. But you're one of the few Canadians I watch, man. <laughs> you haven't really landed on one side or the other, which is how I try to be. You got to laugh at it, and you know what? The same as I do in the end. It's all got to come down. That's it. It's all got to come down. That's the only fucking way. Anything we talk about, blah, 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 it's just this and that. It doesn't matter. It's all he said, she said. This team's winning for a while, then that team's winning for a while. But we're the ones that are always losing. So I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I know when some people say stuff, sometimes it gets under my skin. Like, like I said, you can say whatever you want. I've been caught up on a couple things in the past, and I've had to come on and say, ah, I was wrong. Once for sure. <laughs> and he caught me dead to right. And I said so. He caught me dead to right. Well, it was good to call me out on that. Eh? Um, so, oh, he can. I'm not averse to it. It's just let me have it. But you can't just come on and go, you're dumb. You're just dumb, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hook, 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 eh? That's how we say it in Canada. Hook, 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 eh? <laughs> so, uh, I, I know some people in, um, oh gosh, it was a Derek that said this a long time ago, that uh, that the way I talk, people in Manitoba, he says, we talk like Indians, like how Indians do in Toronto. Because I was walking about, about oot and a boot. You are going oot and a boot to have a look. <laughs> and Faith, Faith Goldie's the worst for that. Well, Derek says that, uh, um, even that little Dan, because he's he, he's from there. I mean, he was around, he used to live around the Spadina area, and all those eastern eastern Canadians. But GTA in Ontario, they're the ones that come from that. They they say "oot" in a boot when Americans make fun of us. That's uh, that's not all. <laughs> not all. Hashtag not all. Not all of us go "oot" in a boot. Some of us go out and about in our boats. We don't go "oot" in a boot in our boot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just so funny. You know, it's such a big country. We we all talk so different from one end to the other, man. I was watching uh before I go, I, I watched this program called uh, Buds One Three One. It, it's uh Senior Chief Don Shipley, he outs fake seals and and stolen valor. I wonder if we all started emailing him and asking him to do a Stolen Valor episode on our Defense Minister Sar Sarjeet Sajan. I wonder if he would do it. Because, he, he, you know, in America, Stolen Valor at one time used to be a crime. You know, taking credit for something in battle that you, you didn't do like our Defense Minister Sarjeet Sajan did. Just saying, it's an awesome show, man. Uh, they all, they're liars. They all tell, tell the same lies. And these guys are like dressed up in, we got medals and everything, man. <sighs> Sarjeet Sajan, defense minister, stealer of valor. That's who runs the, can you imagine that? Being your, your top guy in your army. The army of shame led by a, a guy who steals other people's valor. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.